All right, hello and welcome. Baro has returned. So let's see what he's got today. So, Tenno, you honor my people with your Warframe. So we have new shoulder armor, which we are absolutely going to be checking out because it probably looks fantastic. Most of the Katir armor, it's great. So we're going to take a look at that for sure. Uh, otherwise, we have the impact set. Uh, so with one very, very minor exception, which is Collision Force being used as a stat stick part um, for Atlas, which is super extra gimmick. These mods are all like pretty much worthless unless you're just trying to collect them. Uh, but that one use case on an Atlas stat stick is, I suppose, worth mentioning for Collision Force if you're looking into that. Otherwise, we have the Probe of Vandal, which still sucks even with the new Machete Stance. Uh, like, you could use it, but why would you? Uh, and that's unfortunate. So, Mastery Fodder there. Oh, we have the Katir Sentinel Tail, which looks quite nice. Uh, we have the entire EOS Prime armor set. Uh, which is fine. Uh, the shoulders on this look pretty good. The chest piece, the chest piece is good, but the only place I found a use for it was Banshee Prime. Uh, and the legs are good, but I only really like them on Limbo. Uh, the shoulders are the big stuff here, so if you wanted to save a few ducats, you could definitely just do the shoulders. Uh, besides that, we have the Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint, which is probably... Mm, is it... Mm, I'm trying to determine right now if this is actually worse than mod packs. I think it might be. I think this might actually be worse than mod packs. So for 100 of your ducats and 50k credits, you can get a one-time build Corrupted Bombard Spectre. This item would be hard-pressed to be good if you could reuse it as many times as you want. So because it is one-time use for 100 ducats each... It is absolutely, a, I think it's worse than mod packs, actually. I think this might actually be the worst item that Borrow Katir brings. I can't think of anything that is worse than this singular item. So don't fucking buy this. Just don't do it. Save yourself the trouble of being disappointed and just don't do it. I have one just to have one around, but it's worthless. Uh, so yeah. It's okay. I'm really hoping that these shoulder plates look phenomenal, and I suspect that they do. Um, so let's go take a look at those, and then we're going to head on over to console and see if they got something uh, of more substance in the like general collection-wise. All right, so here we are in the arsenal. Uh, these are the new shoulder plates. They're subtle. I like them, though. I feel like there is like Warframe... That usually have Warframes that usually have like kind of too much going on in the shoulder area that these would be real nice on. Um, like maybe if you wanted some like smaller shoulder plates for say Rhino Prime or something, this would go really well. Uh, and then in the Excal colors, they're like a solid metallic channel. Uh, so like in gold, if we wanted to look at that real quick, yeah, they yeah they're just they just look solid. They're just nice looking shoulder plates so let's see some colors on these they color well as you would expect of a katir item i feel like these are actually in a unique position where they do the exact opposite of the other katir shoulders where the other katir shoulders like if we just look at them real fast like these ones these are like much bigger and they can be too bulky for a lot of like the smaller frame warframes. I feel like that or or they can be too bulky for warframes that are already massive. Uh and the these are like the exact reverse. They're very like like these like pop out and they're wide where these are uh like pretty much flush against the warframes. I like these a lot. I uh I appreciate how different they are but still with like the good nice Katir patterning on, patterning on them. Uh so yeah really solid uh so i'm gonna see if i can get close for yeah yeah it's real nice it looks really good uh and then of course the old katir are much larger yeah looks very nice uh so we're gonna head on over to console and see what they got today all right and over here on console we uh have the beacons which are fine 
Uh, Mantis Prisma skin, which is a nice cosmetic. Same with the Kutir Sugatra. Uh, the regular Kutir Sandana, which I'm really not a fan of. Uh, and then we have the Quantum Vandal and its Aphius skin. Pro probably get both of these. The Quantum Vandal is quite a good weapon. Uh, and then these, this skin to make it so you can color it. Although it is worth noting that the Vandals and the Wraiths are going to get individual like color channels and be recolorable in the future. So if you don't really want to spend the extra 300 ducats for this skin, even though it is a nice looking skin, um, you can just wait on the recolorability of the Quanta Vandal. It's not required that you get this skin to recolor it in the future. Uh, beyond that, we have Prime sh Primed Shotgun Ammo Mutation, which is okay. Uh, not really that useful. Same with the Primed Rifle Ammo Mutation, although there are a few cases where you will use this. Um, but most cases, you're just going to be using Carrier. Uh, and on otherwise, we have the Prime Target Cracker, which is probably the best thing in this whole haul very easily, as this is used on all critical secondaries. Uh, besides that, we have the Anaros Tomb Scene, which is wonderful. I think it's the largest of all of the Captura scenes, if I'm not mistaken. And, yeah, just good stuff overall. Uh, yeah, that's the... That's the console hall over here, and that is Baruch Katir for the day. Um, it is worth noting that today is both the Baruch Katir day and also the DevStream day, so the DevStream video is going to be coming to you guys later today. Uh, and also we're going to be playing on the free-to-play on a stream later today as well. Uh, so after the DevStream video like comes out, I'm probably going to be streaming like pretty much as soon as that happens. So if you want to come hang out and ask questions, uh, please do, and I hope I see you there. Uh, later, everybody.